What's up guys? How are you doing? I uh, hope you're great. So welcome to yet another amazing tutorial today. Actually today I'm going to show you how you can use dimensions or dimensions in quantum BIS. So let us assume you've drawn a polygon which has four sides or five sides and then you want to be able to label each side with its own length. I hope that is fine. Let me repeat it once more. You have a four-sided polygon and then you want to be able to label the length of each side either in meters or in centimeters. I don't know what you may want. How to do that? That's what I'm going to show you today. Just watch this tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to use the comment box and then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let us dive into the tutorial, man. Yeah, so I have created a new layer. It is called polygons. And then I'm going to create a polygon shape file using these points, as you can see. Click here and then I start editing. So I want to label the distances here here and then be able to know the dimensions of this what of this plot so the first thing i do is to use the polygon to lines tool so i come here i say polygon to lines so once you open this tool you have to select the polygon and then after selecting that polygon, remember we want to convert our polygons into what? Into lines. So you may choose to save those, those lines to local file or to virtual memory. So I'll use virtual memory and then I'll run this. So after running this tool, I have a new shape file which is called lines, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do next is to cut out these lines or segment them into individual lines so to do that i come to explode lines i come here and then i search explode lines and then i click this and then this tool requests you to input the lines and then it's going to explode them or to divide them into different segments so i input this line and then still I'm going to save it to virtual memory and then I run. And then after running, I will have my exploded lines. Let me show them to you. Uh, they are here. Uh, this is my polygon. Let me try to change the symbology. Let me use a hollow symbol and something like this. And then I apply. So I'm also going to change the symbology of this line. I'm going to increase its outline to 0 0.5 and I'll see. Yeah, to do the labeling, I come here to the shape file. I right click and then I say properties. And then I come to labels. Then I select single labels. And then when I select single labels, I'm going to create a rule or to write a rule. I write the dollar sign and then I put length, length, something like that. And then I want to change my labeling. I want to use Times New Roman. You know, I like Times a lot. Yeah. Then I'll say apply. So let us try to see how it has dimensioned or it has done the labeling. As you can see, this is not the best we can do. I'll try to improve it. Actually, it has done some labeling, but it's not what we want to do. So to make this better, what you do is you 
input this into brackets and then you are going to use a function a round function you write round so we are going to round off our length and then you write comma you write round length then comma the number of decimal places you want if you want one decimal place you put one and then you say apply as you can see i've used one decimal place so if i want two i can put two and then i click apply and then as you can see those are two decimal places but since i want to use one decimal place i will leave it at what at one so i'll say apply and then i'll say okay so i can put back this yeah i can also put back this if i want so basically you've done your what your dimensions you've put your dimensions and actually you can proceed to do other things as you may want so that's all i wanted to show you today don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then to watch my tutorials. See you soon.